Welcome guys and thank you for tuning in. Here's another project of ours. It is a 2007 Toyota FJ Cruiser. So I got this cruiser from a friend of a coworker. They didn't really want to let go of the vehicle. However, they decided to pass it on to someone they don't. So here it is, I got it. Um, what's wrong with this vehicle is that as you may have heard, the engine was knocking and the transmission has no reverse. So I got the vehicle as it is. A lot of parts has been taken apart. Uh, basically, it's just taking over another project, uh, which is not a big deal. The clutch was removed. I had to remove the transmission out of the vehicle. Um, we're close from removing the engine. We basically just had to remove the wiring harness, fuel lines, as well as the AC lines. Then it's ready to come up. There's also a lot of interior pieces that has been removed and a bunch of parts in the back of the vehicle, which is not a big deal. We'll figure it out. Okay, so now what we're trying to do is remove the engine out of the vehicle. We shouldn't have to, but we removed the hood and the bumper as well, just to be sure that we don't scratch anything. Let's get the engine on the stand so we can finally work on it. I got the oil pan off, just the lower oil pan, and it's already not looking good. See that metal piece right there? That's part of like connecting rod bearing. I'm gonna bet it's gonna be connecting rod bearing. See, there's still some on this strainer. Uh, it, look, it looks pretty rough. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So after removing the upper oil pan, we did find what was wrong with it and why it was knocking. I believe this has gotta be cylinder number four. At least a fourth one from the front. See that much play? A lot of play it's supposed to be solid well there you have it guys so basically what happens after i remove that connecting rod cap on this cylinder number four i believe um these two bearings were basically sitting like this so one of these bearings spun thankfully none of the crank journals are damaged so i did some diy polishing then I replaced all the connecting rod bearings. The main bearings, oil clearance are still within spec, so I left it as it is. Now it's time to reseal the front timing cover while it's out of the vehicle. When you have an engine out on a project or any car that you're working on, it is highly recommended to reseal everything as much as you can. That way it won't give you any problems in regards to oil leaks down the road. After cleaning these parts by hand as much as I can, it's time to reinstall them. All right, this one GR is all set. I think it's ready to go back in, shall we? So I got this FJ Cruiser for $2,000 and the parts cost me about $400. Sweet deal, isn't it? Just gotta do a lot of labor, which is not bad. I enjoy it. See you, Papa. Yes, we've reached another milestone. We got the engine back up and running. Well guys, so there it is. Basically it's done. 
it's running good now. I just gotta reinstall the front bumper, front grill, headlights, signal lights. I got the transmission back in. Bad. I got a. I got a bad news. It goes no problem with all forward gears. Like I can move it, for, move the vehicle forward. But check this out. As soon as I put it in reverse, slowly let go of the clutch. Hear that grinding noise? I got the reverse, so I gotta pull it out again. Either rebuild it or get a new one. Well, not a new one, but a used one. I think that's gonna be a better way for me, a better route, just so I can drive this as soon as I can. So we'll go from there. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it, I guess. Here we go. All right, so unfortunately, out of all of that work to the engine, um, there's still some few issues with this FJ Cruiser. However, it's something that I already knew right from the get-go, but we're gonna keep moving on. What we're gonna do is remove the transmission. Let's start off with this drive shaft. Um, let's remove this exhaust heat shield as well as this couple brackets. Then let's remove the exhaust Y pipe. Also, let's remove our front drive shaft. And then once we get there, what's gonna remove our slave cylinder. Careful with those lines. Um, they're pretty skinny and they can break easily. Let's remove our bell housing bolts. At this point, what we're gonna do is lift the vehicle up just to get more room. Um, I was gonna do a transmission adapter for our floor, floor jack. However, that didn't work well because I wasn't able to raise the vehicle enough. Um, but this motorcycle or ATV floor jack works well. Um, as you guys can see, what we're gonna be using here is two floor jacks. So one, one is that motorcycle jack and another regular floor jack. Then, inch by inch, we're gonna lower it to the ground. Thankfully, my dad is around to be able to help me out. Honestly, I couldn't have done this without him. So shout out to my dad. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. At this point, what I'm gonna try to do is remove all of the stuff that I'm gonna have to transfer from this old transmission into this new, um, newer slash shoes transmission. Um, unfortunately, the newer transmission did not come with a transfer case, so I'm gonna have to transfer that and remove it off of this one. If you're replacing your transmission too, um, when you get to this point, you might as well replace your clutch, flywheel, as well as your release bearing. It is highly recommended so you won't have to deal with it down the road. Basically at this point everything is going to be in reverse order. So I bought this used transmission for 1100 bucks. In total I'm $3,500 into it. It's not too bad. Also I get to drive this sooner. So before all forward gears are okay you know you let go of the clutch slowly. Vehicle creeps up you know forward obviously totally normal but when I do put it in reverse and slowly let go of, of the clutch um, it just grinds um, if you guys seen the video earlier it just it's pretty bad it was pretty severe I would say um, but this one I've already tested it um, I have no exhaust hopefully my neighbor's not gonna kill me or get mad at me so I'm gonna put it in reverse Slowly let go of the clutch. Oh yeah, we're golden. At this point, knowing that everything is working fine so far, I'm really excited and I'm just working my off to get everything back together so I can finally drive this. Yes, finally, we're on the very last point of this project. After all of that work, we're sure gonna make the best out of this rig. I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching, for sticking around throughout this whole video. I just wanna let you guys know that I've been driving this vehicle a lot, utilizing it, towing. And the best part is I get to enjoy it with my friends, loved ones, and everyone around me. Going four wheeling, going camping, this rig has been awesome. If you guys want to see more videos of this FJ Cruiser doing adventures, camping, four-wheeling, um, doing little upgrades, let me know in the comment below. Once again, thank you guys so much. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and feel free to share. Thank you guys so much. Have a good one.